You know, when we're finishing these days, specifically with our waterborne paints, one of the most critical things is keeping the air dry, clean, moving, to get you the best finish that's possible. Well, how do we do that? What are some of the ways and what are some of the problems that collision repairers are having out there right now? We've stepped inside the booth to talk to Global Finishing Solutions about what it takes to get the air right, get the paint dried, and get it out of here. Mike, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Chris. This is such an amazing experience. Well, thank you. So, what are some of the problems shops are having with air and drying waterborne? Well, initially the, the booth was designed to create a nice, clean, safe place to paint a car. Unfortunately, in doing that, it created some things that when we move from a solvent-based to a, water ba a waterborne-based paint, they create a problem in allowing that to happen. When you put a car inside of a paint booth, there's a laminar and boundary of air that surrounds that car. That boundary layer of air is a very slow-moving layer of air that when waterborne paint, the water that escapes from that, transfers into that boundary layer, the laminar air traps it. Now you've got a problem. Once that becomes completely saturated, there's no place for that air to move. It's trapped along the surface, and the, and the paint simply slows down and stops drying. So it'll take a long period of time. Yeah. So we've developed products, and there's a number of different ways to do that, either to wash or interrupt the air that's creating that laminar and boundary air. So what we've done is we've taken a look at the different ways and methods to do that, and we've come up with what we call the advanced cure system. The advanced cure system itself actually creates a, a, a six or seven hundred feet a minute movement of air that transfers across the surface of that car interrupting the development of a laminar and boundary air to begin with. Wow, so what are some of the benefits for a shop that's, that's going to have that system on its application and drying process? Well if you didn't use that you'd be looking at about 15 minutes to flash the, the, the uh, waterborne paint. If you use something that just simply wash the car as opposed to interrupting it you'd probably look at a nine or a ten minute drying time what we look at with paints is somewhere between three and a half and five and a half minutes of flash time. So that's the advantage that you'd have. It's the speed of the process itself. Now when we talk about, and you mentioned there's just like the wash of the air, is, is that what we've typically been seeing with maybe tree stands, hand blowers that shops have been using yeah. to apply that? Yes. Um, think of it this way. It's as if you were out and go wash your car and you took a hose and you're sitting there holding that hose and you're going to wash that car. You can only hit so much of that car at any one period of time when you're trying to do that. And even if you had multiple hoses, you still have the problem. Every time the hose water would hit each other, it would create an area where it doesn't dry correctly. That's just a wash of air. So if you interrupt the air, don't allow the laminar and boundary air to flow to begin with, you don't have that creation of, of uh, or that problem with the laminar boundary air itself being created. Instead, it becomes turbulent. That surface is always moving, so that water can escape. So how does the advanced cure system work in the shop's booth? Is it they just or make it part of their everyday cycle. I see that it, you know, the way that it sets. Yeah, the painter would come inside and he would lay down a, a, a base layer of paint. And at that point, you need to flash that off. And so during the flash process, you turn the advanced cure on, the boost stays running. The air that's moving, whether it's a downdraft or a crossdraft or whatever airflow you have, is moving in a direction that creates that laminar boundary air. We simply turn on the advanced cure. It's mounted high in the spray zone itself. That air flows out, creates a a wash or a, it creates a, an interruption of that air as it moves across and the laminar boundary air stops stops being created. So Mike, the system looks great, but I know as a painter, one of the things I've been doing over the last couple of years with my water is I've been getting, you know, kind of being, being trained to put my air directly on what I'm doing. So I've either got my, my tree stands and I'm going low or high. Does it matter to where the system's mounted to keep the air moving no matter what I'm painting, a rocker or even up to a fender? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make any difference what type of airflow you have in your booth as well. All we're trying to do is just to interrupt the creation of laminar and boundary air. So if you're painting in a downdraft, for example, and you're painting the side, the belt line or the sill, of that car, we're going to aim the air above the, just above the top of the car. That, from that point forward, you will see turbulent air over the entire surface of the car. You'll never see a creation of laminar and boundary air once you turn the advanced gear system on. Well, that's great. I know. So basically, I could totally eliminate my swing arm blowers and even my tree stand blowers in my process with the finishing. Absolutely, and it saves you time. That painter doesn't have to stand there and hold that. He doesn't have to turn that on. All he has to do is come into the booth spray his base coat, turn it on, and that, that simply turns the advanced gear system on. He can go out and do one of the things that he'd like to be doing. Oh, well, that's great. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally bumped one of those tree stands and sent it into one of my new jobs <laughs> and just had to start thinking about doing it over. So having even just that little amount of clutter removed from my, my process would just be an amazing fix. So where can people go learn more about the advanced gear system and how to integrate that in their repair facilities? You go to the Global Finishing's website, uh, globalfinishingsolutions.com.
Perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. We got a line of people that are going to want to take a class here pretty soon. Everybody's been loving the booth and getting a chance to come in and experience it. Having clean, dry air movement is critical when it comes to spraying waterborne paint. And we know that as shops have made the conversion process over the last couple of years, it's one of the most talked about topics that I visit and I deal with seminar after seminar, no matter who I'm painting with in the industry. Be sure to go and visit their website, learn more about the Advanced Cure System, and how it can change the way you're spraying your water today. Thanks.